What's the word? I'm back. And I'm about to show y'all how to do a couple of these masking tricks that y'all see right here on my screen, man. So let's get it. First of all, let's figure out a point in the song where we're gonna make a freeze frame. Once you get your thoughts together, I want you to right click, go to time and then get a freeze frame. Once you freeze the clip, you're gonna grab the pen tool and make a simple mask around your subject. Now I want you to take that mask clip and pre-compose it. Now I want you to go grab that pen behind tool. Then just take that little point, which is the anchor and put it in the center of your subject. Now click S on this layer and look at the little chain. That little chain lets you separate the dimensions. So you're gonna click that chain. Now I want you to make a keyframe. Then you're gonna come up a couple frames and stretch it out just a little bit. Then after I want you to go to the end of your clip, highlight the first keyframe, hit Alt and click the stopwatch, and then type in this expression. Make sure you put this in correctly. I'll just copy and paste it into the description just so y'all don't get it incorrect. So now you got a bouncy roto and it's only bouncing and stretching on the sides, not the top. You know what I'm saying? So it's looking pretty cool. You feel me? So now if you want to get that effect that we were trying to do the other day, you can mix the tutorial, which I just dropped right here on my screen. You can mix that one along with this one and you can now get that effect. And I forgot to mention, to get the choppiness, all you gotta do is add some posterized time. And you just make those values like eight and make sure you have that like on the ball. And if that's too slow for you, you could change it. But as far as the rest of the stuff in this clip, everything is in the other tutorial as I mentioned before. And as for the grunge stuff, the grunge stuff is from Asim Nawab. I hope I said that correctly. But Asim has a fire pack out right now that I really feel like everybody should go tap into. It has a ton of different grunge presets. It has some overlays, a couple of things that you might find interesting. So yeah, go tap into that and let's get back to this video. All right, so for this next clip, we're gonna try to go for something a little similar to this. Only problem with this is that I don't have a clip that's rotating. So I'm gonna work with what I have, you know what I'm saying? So now I'll make a new composition and duplicate your clip. And once you duplicate your clip, just rotoscope out your subject. Now I want you to freeze that roto. And since I'm going for an edgy look, I'm not gonna refine the edge. I'm just gonna right click my clip and I'm gonna pre-compose it. Then I'm gonna come down to the bottom clip and add a motion tile. And on that motion tile, I'm gonna make the output width and height 200. Then I'm gonna add an offset. As I mentioned before, I don't have any rotating footage, but if you look at his clip, his clip is time remapped and it has some posterized time on top of it to give the choppy look. So y'all know what's next. Right click, go up to time, enable time remap, and let's make a keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Let's go to the end and start dragging the time. Boost it until you start to see a bunch of other clips. Then you're just gonna leave it alone. Once you're done with that on the same keyframe, just go up here and fix the offset. Once it fits the screen, you're good. Now I want you to add an RSMB. And if you don't have RSMB, you could just use directional blur. If you do have RSMB, just make the first value 0.5 and then add posterized time to that same clip and make that a value of 12. Now I want you to add a film damage. Copy these settings. Make sure your scratches are at zero as well. And now I'm just gonna come over here and drag one more of Brody's grunge presets. But yeah, brothers, uh, with an eight millimeter, and one of those uh, filters where it gives you black bars on the right side and stuff like that, you could really perfect this. But that's really the gist of this effect, you feel me? I hope y'all enjoyed this. And if y'all did, drop a like, comment, subscribe, and you know the facts. I'm gonna be back tomorrow with another one. Peace.